Hey, what's up, Rockstars? This is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest, and as you can see, I'm in a little bit of a different location than I usually am. Uh, this is actually the place where I teach uh, my private lessons, you know, one on one, not like video chat or YouTube or anything like that. Um, this is called the Rift Factory, and uh, you can check it out at riftfactory.com if you want. It's pretty much the same information um, that you get from my videos and stuff like that. Um, some of you already are familiar with this. I know some of my students subscribe and stuff like that. So to you guys, I salute you. Um, the reason why I'm, uh, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is, uh, well I haven't posted in a while, obviously, I'm just waiting for the next Green Day album to come out. Which, by the way, if I can make a bold prediction, I think Green Day is uh, kind of on the verge of maybe uh, a long hiatus or calling it quits. Because it's very unusual for a band to um, do this many albums in such a short amount of time. Um, usually when this happens, it's because... Um, usually because their contract, their label contract, stipulates that they have to make a certain number of albums before they're released um, from their contract, you know, or sell a certain number of records or something like that. So that's what I think they're doing, and seeing as Billy Joe is in rehab right now, I don't think that's too far off the mark. But I could be wrong, okay? But just in case you heard it here first, um... So what I wanted to talk to you about today is, you know, in between lesson projects, uh, I wanted to talk about some some practical things that you guys can use um, when you're learning your instrument, when you're learning your song, and it, it doesn't, it's not uh, limited to just musical things either. I, I use these ideas in my day-to-day -day life all the time when I'm learning something new, you know, a new a new job, a new skill, whatever the case may be. But uh, I call them universal laws or universal principles. And maybe that sounds a little bit philosophical for some of you guys, but um, the whole idea is, is basically to know one thing or one pattern and to use that to learn many other things or many other patterns. So instead of just memorizing all the information that you need to know at the end or at the goal or whatever. So I call these universal laws universal principles. And um, you know some of you may have stumbled across these already if you're learning uh, an instrument. Um, or maybe hit, someone has talked to you about them already, but uh, I think they're very useful, and I think it makes uh, learning new things uh, a lot more enjoyable and um, fun, too, and I want you guys to enjoy playing new instruments and uh, enjoy making music. So, uh, that's my idea. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, or even if you uh, if you have some ideas of uh, principles that you use all the time, uh, let me know. I, I I love to hear from you guys and get some new ideas maybe. Um, so yeah, hope to talk to you soon. I'm Alex Warren saying cheers.